Hello guys, do you want to do something like this? Perfect! If yes, watch this video until the end, and make sure to subscribe, for more videos like this. So first, you will need a music, I recommend beats from Cody, I'ma use one of his beats for this video. Now we drag the music to the timeline, and double click the L button on keyboard to open waveform, then click the star button on keyboard to mark the beats. When you're ready, drag the clips on the timeline and put them as you like. So this is what we got until now. Perfect. Now click Ctrl Shift and C on keyboard to open pre-compose window, then name it as you want, and make sure that you have selected second option, and then click OK. So, you have to do this for each clip. Now I will use a plugin called Twixter, which you need to install. You can find videos on YouTube how to install it, if you already have it, then follow me. I use default Twixter settings but you can use them as you like. Make sure that the first keyframe is 100, then the next keyframe has to be on the beat and it can be used as you like. I will make it 500 for now. Then we make another keyframe on the middle of two beats. This one needs to be slow so I made it 5, and the last one needs to be on the next beat and I made it 500 again. Then select those three keyframes and click F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor and follow my graph settings. When we are done, select those three keyframes again and click Ctrl C to copy them. And then we use Ctrl V to paste them on the other beats. But we need also to fix graph editor on each beat, so just follow me. So you mostly will play with keyframes until you get the result that you want. This might seem hard on the first time but if you practice you will get used to it and then you can make edits as you want. This is my first tutorial and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are new make sure that you subscribe my channel, and stay tuned for the next videos, I will be making more tutorials about how I edit my videos soon. This is the result after finishing Twixter. Perfect. Now we need to make zoom and shake effects, you can install packs with presets on YouTube. But if you want to make them by yourself you can follow me and see how I made them. So first we click Ctrl Shift and Y on keyboard, to add an adjustment layer, then on the effects and presets bar we search for transform and add it to the layer. Now we are making the zoom effect, so follow me. First we make a keyframe for scale, and let it 100, make another keyframe on the mark with the scale on 120, and the last keyframe with the scale on 100. Then select them and click F9 on keyboard to easy ease them, and copy my graph settings. Now it's time for the shake effect, for this you will need Sapphire plugin. You can find tutorials on YouTube how to install this plugin, if you need help. Comment on this video and I will answer as soon as I can. But if you already have this plugin then follow me. Search for S shake, and add it to the layer. You can customize the settings as you like, but if you want you can copy mine. Make some keyframes for the amplitude same as I did. Select the amplitude keyframes and then click F9 on keyboard, open graph editor and copy my settings. To make shake as you like, you can play with the settings, but if you want you can copy mine on this video. I changed them a lot, but at the end I came on finish with these. 
Then we copy the shake layer and paste it on every beat, just like I did. So these are the results until now. Perfect. I couldn't put the whole clips in one video, so I will make another part for the rest of edit. I hope you enjoyed it until now. This was my first tutorial so I'm sure the next ones will be better. Comment if you need help or anything that you want to see on this channel. And thanks a lot for your support. Much love by Fresh.